Hey guys, this is your hashtag student nurse RN, Tiara, coming to you live with another great video. For those who are new, hello, my name is Tiara. Nice to meet you all. For all my new inspiring nurses, hello. For those who has been subscribed from the beginning, welcome back. This is your girl Tiara, and today's video is dedicated towards my NCLEX prep. I'm currently in my last day of nursing school, guys. Yes, I have one more predictor to take tonight. For those who do not know, I am a nighttime student. I go to a, a local college, which is an accelerating program, only 18 months, and you can become an RN. Um, and your girl had a rough week. I've been in my NCLEX prep class now. This is the fifth week, and I am completely tired of studying and questions and things like that. So on this video, I will talk about that today. So I once again, I wanna say thank you for all your support. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Please feel free to browse other videos. Your girl is constantly gonna be putting up videos. I have been a little late on this one because your girl's studying for her boards and trying to get the heck out of nursing school, hello. So, okay, so let's talk about NCLEX prep. So guys, for my school, NCLEX prep is not basically a class, but it is a term where you have to come in and study for your predictor, which is gonna be your exit nursing school exam. Now, if you enter in nursing school taking an exam, you're most likely gonna have an exit exam. And your exit exam may not be called the predictor, but most nursing schools, exit exam is called the predictor or capstone. So guys, let me tell y'all what happened to me this week. I don't even know how I'm smiling right now, y'all. It seems like everything is falling to part. And guys, sometimes that does not always mean the worst thing ever. Sometimes that just means God is really getting ready to work behind the scenes. He is working and things are coming into place. You're transitioning to a new role. You know, God is preparing your new job for you. He's preparing a new income. Um, so it seems like when you're getting close to that finish line, everything's falling to part. You know, people you thought were supporting you is not in your corner. Like, people, let's talk about it. I'm just going to put all the juice out there. First of all, God got me, guys. And you guys, you got to know that before you start any nursing school program. You got to have a strong faith base. And if you don't believe in God, you believe in something else, whatever it is, have a strong faith base when you start a nursing school. Nursing school uh, gives you mixed emotions and you're also tired. And you're also drained from just doing so many, studying different things and trying to keep up with the grades. Now, for guys, for those who don't know, I am a current nighttime student. I go to school from 5.30 to 10.30 at night. And I chose that program, which is kind of hard to get into because I was currently working as a full-time LPN when I started my RN program. So, yes, your girl needed nights. So, anyway, this five weeks, we come in, we take a, a lots of ATI practice exams. Now, at this point of the program, they're going to open up all the existing ATI exams that you couldn't, you didn't have access to before because you wasn't in that class yet. And now everything is open. You can go back and do leadership, you go back through med surge, fundamentals, um, peds, maternity, community, all those goodies is open. You go in, guys, you're going to have a study plan. Now, take this class serious. Now, guys, I took the class serious, but I'm going to give you a good tip. And I'm going to tell y'all why I could give you this tip. See, your girl like to give you a tip and then give you the evidence behind it. That's just what kind of girl I am. Number one is you want to not overstudy and you do not want to understudy. Guys, you want to learn how to organize your studying. Now, here's a hint. If you're studying to take your predictive, you're going to get a calendar and it's going to have your test dates on there. And you're, you may have to do a practice test uh in leadership like we had to do one in communications and stuff like that um and they're not looking for you to always have that national level two or level three because in this point of the program you already passed the class for that subject but they do want to see where you're at in your grades and they're going to base your study plan off your grades that you get pay attention here's a hint 
pay attention to what test is upcoming and study and prepare for that test only. I went wrong, guys, because I was still studying for my boards and I'm still studying for this predictor that I overlooked putting in the time. Now, don't say I didn't have the potential to pass the exams, but I didn't. I overlooked putting the time into that ex upcoming exam. So when I showed up for class, guys, for our first predictor, it's like a it's like a, a practice run. Your first, you're going to have three predictors. You're going to have one in the beginning of your if you go to a fast-paced school like me, you're going to have one in the beginning of the week when you first start the class. And then the second, like towards the second and third week, you're going to have the second one and then the final predictor. On one of your predictors, that's towards the end of the term, you have to be beyond a 70%. Now, that 70% sounds sweet, guys. When you hear nursing school, you're like, 70%? That's good. No, boo boo. This test is 180 questions and it's random things on there. So it could be things about disasters, then it's talking about policy, then it's talking about management, then it's talking about delegation, then it's hopping on to maternity, then it's talking about drugs you probably didn't see since you started the nursing program. You're probably going to see diseases on there from peas that you didn't remember from since you had peas. So your girl made a mistake and was overstudying guys because i remember before the night before i took my predictor i took a practice NCLEX exam 265 questions which took me four hours to do guys and i passed that practice NCLEX uh board vitals that's what we use to practice for our boards is board vitals which is through ati as well and i was super hype about it i was like oh my god i would have passed my boards today but guess what I wasn't even at that point yet. I should have been worried about my predictor. Guys, I showed up Wednesday, a hot mess to take my predictor. Forgot it was that day. I didn't even eat lunch that day because I was running and running and running around and practicing, practicing these questions. Girl sat down. Your girl got a 69.3. When I seen that grade, guys, first of all, I didn't know what to think. I had so many mixed emotions going on because that was a guarantee whether I can graduate. So now I'm also class rep. I'm planning the whole pinning. And I'm like, now you're telling me I can't even go to the pinning. I'm planning. And I'm like, God, you put, brought me this far. What, in the, what, what just happened? See, and then I had to calm down and remember who God is. God shows up for me all the time. There's never a time, guys, in my life that he failed me. Now, I had a lot of people that up you know human beings who failed me but not him guys I had to get myself together I was composed I didn't tell anybody I took my class pictures because my a lot of my classmates I think I was the only one who got the grade everybody else passed and everybody was like oh we're graduating oh my god you know taking selfies getting ready to get ready getting their outfits ready getting ready make their hair appointments makeup appointments and I'm sitting there like are you kidding me oh my god so that night, guys, I went home. I could not even sleep. My husband was like, yo, you was up all night. I was rocking in the bed, rocking and rocking. I was crying. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that I did this to myself. But then I got up the next morning. I said, what did I do? What did I did not do that I need to learn? What do I need to take away from this? What do I need to learn from this experience? And I'm learning, guys. I'm giving you the best tip because this happened to me just now, this week. The best tip is study for what is coming. Don't study ahead of time. Don't go too far ahead of yourself. Keep your eyes on the prize and one step at a time. So if you have two predictors in your program, study for the exit exam, then worry about your boards. Okay, you got time to take your boards. See, my school wants us to take our boards as soon as this term is over and we get our letters from the um, Board of Nursing. We're gonna go take our boards. So I had that on my mind because I'm like, oh, my new job, you know, I have to have my license. I cannot do a 90 day, um, you know, a 90 day grace period without my boards that the hospital, they don't play. They got standards. They, they ain't going to let that happen. So that's the biggest tip I could tell you. If you want to be successful in your final uh, class in nursing school, please take it one step at a time. Even now. If you're studying something, you should be studying whatever test is coming, not for a test that's that's going on, you know, after the fact, okay? This will allow you to be very effective on the test. 
And then it's okay to take breaks and rest. I was so exhausted that when I left my school that night, y'all, I was about to pass out, okay? I know I sound a little dramatic sometimes, but I was so weak. I realized I didn't even eat that day. I realized I didn't have much to drink. And, you know, I was just studying and studying it. And I, like, lost track of time, you know, and I learned from it. See, that's the benefit of stuff of feeling is you learn from it. Now, if you don't learn from it, then you're going to be stuck in self-pity of, I didn't pass, I'm a failure. I let this be a, a motivation for me, guys. I was like, I'm not going to allow this to happen to me no more. I am very capable of passing this exam. I know it. I was studying, but I didn't get my brain time to rest. I didn't get my body time to rest. And I was just running around, running around, trying to do stuff for my penny, stuff for, you know, planning all that. And so your girl had to learn to slow it down a couple of notches and take one step at a time and learn to embrace the moment. Guys, ever since last Wednesday, because that's when I had the predictor, I had a, a goal and I said, I'm going to do between four to seven practice exams a day. And I had six days because if I retook it and wait today, because today we're doing another predictor. But if you already passed the first one, then you don't have to score a beyond a 70, you know. So anyway, I buckled down. You would have thought I was rocking, y'all. I was like, look, no, nothing's going to defeat me. No weapon form against me shall prosper. I will be a RN this week. This week is my penning on Saturday, guys. Like, I had to speak life back into myself because I am a winner. I had to take something from this because God always likes to get our attention. And he'll get our attention with the things that we want really, really, really bad. And he's saying, hey, slow down. Hey. And I had other people tell me to slow down. I had classmates like, sis, you're doing too much. You need to slow down. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I just got to do this because of this. And bam, it happened. So I learned, okay, so please take that into consideration when you're going to nursing school. So guys, Monday came around. I had to go to class. We had to have a celebration pizza party. You know, everybody practicing, you know, we practice doing our practice questions and we're doing graduation checkout. There's, you know, collecting the last minute assignments that we had and things like that. Because we also had a checklist that we have to complete, which is like two pages long of different practice exams that they wanted to see us complete. We put the date that we completed it. They're going to go behind us and check that we did everything that was on those checklists as well. Because your girl was so ahead of herself that I already completed my checklist so that I can focus on my, my uh, predictor and my boards. But... I didn't have to complete it that early in the game. I could have just been, okay, taking one thing at a time, okay, and actually get something from practicing and not being so task-oriented because I feel sometimes we get so task-oriented that we don't get nothing from what we're doing because we're just like, okay, check, that's done, instead of really sitting down and getting something from what you're doing. Take that class serious, guys. Don't think... Because you hear 70, you like, oh, I can do it. You never know. So anyway, Monday came, y'all. I went to my little pizza party. I was, you know, I had I had my church. I had went to church on Sunday before Monday. And my church prayed for me. They was like, sis, number seven. What that mean in the Bible? That means complete. God is getting ready to complete this. This is done. Like, oh my God, they spoke life into me, y'all. By the time Monday came, I felt like a warrior with extra powers. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I felt so inspired. None of my classmates knew what I was doing. I told my uh, assistant director that I wanted to repeat my predictor on Monday, even though I'm supposed to take it today. And she was like, you sure? She was like, you can come Tuesday. I said, I've got class tomorrow. I got things to do for this pinning. I prepared. So ever since last Wednesday, I was in my my head was in these ATIs, guys. I'm talking about, I was doing seven exams, practice exams today. And, and I was learning that there was a lot of stuff from my big basics that I was not remembering because I'm so nursy already, okay? I'm an OP and so I struggle with the basics, guys, like fundamentals and med surge, the basic things. Now, specialty stuff, I was getting, you know, I was knocking those out. 
but my basics i was not getting everything correct so i was like oh i don't remember this disease i don't remember this medication and so it was a beautiful review and i put my heart in that and that's all i focused on i didn't focus on that and my boards i left everything else alone and i said nope so monday came i went to my class had my little pizza and then I made that decision. I said, I'm not going to wait no more. I can't handle not knowing if I'm going to graduate or not, guys, this week if I didn't pass this test. So she was like, okay. Nobody knew I was redoing my predictor. I'm sitting in the back of the room on my computer. I put my headphones on and did my 180 questions. I had two hours to complete and my legs were shaking. I was nervous. I was shaking, y'all. I was like, God. You promised me that this was my season. This is me. I'm an RN. You said it. I need you to show up. Because sometimes you got to remind God of your promises, guys. And literally, nobody knew what I was doing. They thought I was doing another practice test like everybody else. And I didn't want the pressure of doing it when everybody else is doing the, the other predictor today. I didn't want the pressure of, okay, this is my last chance of, of, of you know, passing it in order to graduate. And everybody knows that. You know what I mean? Like, people are nosy in my class. So, I was like, I don't want that pressure. So I took my time and actually read these questions because I don't remember half of these questions that was on the predictor that I took and fell last Wednesday because I must have rushed through it. Once I got to the 70th question, I was like, all right, this is taking too long. But I actually read these questions. I actually understood what they was asking for. And that's another tip when you're taking any nursing exam. When you hear your teacher say, make sure you read the question, make sure you read the question. And what I'm learning is, the answer is not always obvious, but it's there. And sometimes if the hints, are you not getting a hint in your question, look at your options. If there's a hint of the, the right answer in it, it may not be, it may not sound like a traditional answer, but if it has the hint in that option, that's the, that's the answer. So anyway, I was taking my test. I took my time. I read these questions. I was like, oh, okay, well, we're going to see. Because I was prepared, guys, and in, in let's say let's say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In four days, I prepared to retake my predictor. When I got to the 160th question, your girl went to the bathroom, took a break, because you could take a little one, because I had somebody watching me, so I went to the bathroom once. Came back to my seat, and said, I'm going to finish this. I finished I hit that finalize button and that thing was spinning. I was like, oh, it felt like forever. Like that thing was spinning, spinning. I'm like, come on, show my grade, show my grade. I'm shaking. Boom, 78. Do you know? I was like, God, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm graduating, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. I was like, a 78? Like, oh, 180 questions. I got 78%. I thought that was pretty darn good for it to be random questions all types of subjects and everything random drugs i was like ah, god did it again god did it again your girl is graduating i wanted to tell you my testimony this 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 whole week has been crazy i hadn't had my complete outfit you know because money wise you know i had an unexpected bill and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna look a mess for my penny y'all i don't even have what i need because i was so focused on um, making sure that it gets planned properly, getting all the stuff done for it. And this is my first time as a, you know, in the leadership role of planning a, a ceremony, you know, so like, I didn't know the logist of every little RN traditions and things like that. I have experience as an OPM, but not as an RN doing it. So like, your girl learns how to do a whole daggone event and everything. So like, I'm excited about the experience. But your girl is learning. Here's another big tip. Take care of yourself. Something my mother said to me last week. She was like, what I learned is to take care of myself. Then I can worry about everybody else. Because if you don't take care of yourself, who are you good for? No one. Okay? Like, And it didn't click to this now. I was like, my mom, she's a very intelligent woman. And she told me to take care of myself. I am not the girl to take care of myself. Half the time, if it wasn't for my husband, I don't eat half the time. I don't drink half the time. I'm worried about my kids. My hair looking a hot mess. I haven't been to the salon because I'm like, oh, my kids, my kids need, my house need. And I haven't really did anything that I feel guilty behind doing for myself. When God was like, why are you feeling guilty? I provide for you to be having the things that you need, in, you know? 
that you need. And so I'm learning, guys, to take care of myself, okay? Because everybody else is going to take care of themselves. They're not going to worry about you, okay? And it's so funny because, guys, I met up with my other class rep that I'm working with, and she blessed me with a nursing dress. Brand new, beautiful, nursing, nightingale-inspired. I was like, what? She was like, I'll bring it to class. She was like, okay, you don't have no shoes. I'm going to go get you some shoes. I can know a cheaper place. And I was like, oh, my God. Because God told me this week, he said, you're getting ready to go up. I'm going to show you who's in your corner. And, guys, the people that I thought was going to be in my corner, I even had a family member say something literally odd to me when I was telling them, like, look, I didn't pass my test. And he kind of brushed it off like it was nothing. Like, oh, so are they going to let you walk? And I'm like, what? Are you not hearing me? I got another chance. Like, I, God was showing me who was really in my corner. And God has shown me to speak up and say, and, 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 and to say what you need from someone. Because you have plenty of people that be willing to help you. But if you have trust issues or you have issues with it, or you're suspicious, that's not that's not healthy. There's a lot of people that be willing to help. But if you say, tell your story, because my classmates found out about my test situation. They did not know. They was putting their stuff on Facebook like, I passed. Da, da, da. They did not know I failed. Okay? They was like, well, how did you come... You, you failed your test. You still took a group picture because I had to take group pictures with my class and all this stuff and smiling and congratulating everybody else. I was encouraging everybody before they took the exam. They all did well. And I was, they was like, how did you do that? And knowing that you did not pass. I said, because I know who my father is. I know God is my, he's my everything, y'all. And without him, guys, without him, you will fail. I don't care how smart you are. I learned that. You will fail. And God, he loves to bless people who has a heart for other people. You have to have a heart for other people, okay? But also, you have to have common sense to take care of yourself, okay? Your basics, bathing, hygiene, you know? If you want to smell good, want to look good. God is the bank account. He's the one that's going to constantly pay your bills. He's constantly making sure you keep a job. It's not because you're just so good. Like, that's a selfish spirit to think like that. And I used to think like that, but I learned that I am nothing without him. I am nothing without God. I'm telling you. And it's not to persuade you guys. If you guys are non-believers, I don't care on the channel. I don't judge. It's to tell you the honest God truth. Nursing school is hard, but wait, God, it's not as hard. Half the struggles my classmates have, I didn't have guys because my education was paid for. God told me he was going to give me a debt-free way to pay for school. And my bachelor's degree, guys, is paid for. So, and come to find out, my school, I made a decision to stay with my school because I consult with my teachers and other nurses that's been in the game a long time. And I was like, look, I want to jump to nurse practice. I want to do this. And they, they gave me counsel. They said, no, you need to get your bachelor's degree because what if life happens? You know, you need to have that to sustain your job at your hospital. Go get it. Stay where you're at. It's, it's, your hard part is over. This is going to be easy. What you're doing is writing your papers. And that's it. I was like, okay. And I stayed with my school guys. And when I see my transcript evaluation, they took 49 credits. I was like, I never had a, a transcript evaluation with that amount of credits transferred in my life. And your girl went to six different schools. I got over 100 and something credits. I have an associate's degree in education already. Your girl been in school for a long time, but that was the highest. I was like, oh my God, like this is crazy. I have 11 classes left. All I got to do is jump online, do one class per term. And that's it. <laughs> like your girl will have her bachelor's degree. I was like, oh my God. And everybody's like, oh, are you going to take a break? And I was like, no, God told me he had a faster way for me to get this. Obviously he's preparing something else for me to have. And he needs me to have this degree because that's why he paid for it. He needs me to not only have my associate's degree, but my bachelor's. So I don't know what he has planned, but sometimes you don't always know what God has planned. He's going to show you in partial pieces. He's never going to give you the whole picture. But you got to be obedient to his word. If God tell you to do something, do it. It's going to sound crazy. Like me taking my test on Monday sounded crazy to people because some people probably be like, why you don't wait till Wednesday? Well, maybe because I feel like I know God is going to show up today. And you don't always got to explain that to people because people who do not believe are never going to understand. They're going to be like, you're insane. Like, we don't understand how you're doing this. Like, I had a lot of people questioning my abilities or how I'm doing uh class rep i'm also my wife got kids home in school you know like they don't understand 
But I'm like, God is my strength. He told, I'm, I, was, I was designed to be in this position. And when you're designed to be in that position, you naturally flow in that position. And not, it's not like you feel like overwhelmed or you're tired because you naturally are supposed to do that. You are made to do that thing. So it's natural for you to do 50 things or my lifestyle is natural for me to be a good mother because I was designed to do that. It was naturally to me be a good wife because I was designed to do that. Graduate from school because I was designed to be a nurse. So if it's your purpose and your, and your divine purpose, you will have everything you need to do it. And it's all about timing because God, oh my God, it took eight years, guys, eight years for me to get to this point because my husband kept deploying and I gave up at one point was like, I don't even want to do nourishing no more. Like I put dollars and thousands of dollars into this. Okay. I spent tons of time studying. I started as a volunteer, not getting paid. I loved it. I started as a volunteer on a med surge unit and fell in love with it. Went from that, went to medical assistant, went from that, went to OPN, went from that, and now your girl, RN. So hard work does pay off. And sometimes it takes time. But when you're waiting, work on your craft. So whatever you can do to better your nursing skills, your nursing knowledge, work on that. If you need to volunteer, volunteer. That's the best start because then you can see the nurses in action you can see how it is on a unit how it functions who does what how it operates the policies you can see everything being a volunteer and in my volunteer job started very small i only was giving out ice greeting patients little things then they went up to okay you can do more you can answer call call bells you can uh take this specimen to the lab i mean everything it went from it started to build up and when at the end of my volunteer hours, I was given a letter. I was offered a job for the future. So if I ever go back to New Jersey, I have a job in the hospital already. Because you don't know what God is doing. Maybe that volunteer job is something God needs me to go back to later on. And now I have my ticket, which is my letter, to go back and get that job. You understand what I'm saying? Things don't always got to make sense to you. But you just be obedient. Have a have an ear for him. Because this season, he is doing Big things, bigger than what you can imagine. I was trying to get this eight years ago when I got the vision I was supposed to be a nurse because I really wanted to be a teacher, y'all. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, nursing, what is that? Like, I had to do my research. And once I did, found out, I was like, this fits my personality. Like, I love to teach. I love to, I care for other people. Like, this is crazy. And guys, I did all my sciences first before I jumped into nursing school, which I'm grateful for because now it's paying off. That all was transferred into my bachelor's degree. So now I only have 11 classes left. Can't beat that. And I will keep y'all on my journey, on my experience. Please keep me in prayer. All the positive love. Your girl has been through it this week. And I had unexpected help, you know, like, oh, girl, I got you. And I'm like, oh, God, look at you. Like, look at you. You're building relationships. You know, you're showing me that, sis, you don't got to be working and working so, so, so hard, studying so, so hard. Because regardless of what you do, God always told me that. Regardless of how hard I study, I was already passing. And I still didn't get the logist of that. I still was studying extra, extra, extra hard. I'm a studier. And like, I was over killing myself, overdoing it for when God is like, I told you I'm going to do it for you. And how he get my attention by not giving me my grade. Because he's trying to show me like, I'm doing it for you. Just ride on with the waves. So now I'm learning to ride on with the waves, take one day at a time and love where I'm at. Love my process. Because wherever I'm about to go, I'm going to remember this day. I'm going to remember this week. Like, look, this, this, this was my week led up to my penning. So on Saturday, y'all, I will be taking y'all on a little journey. And I'm going to try to get little clips here and there, here and there. Pictures. I am got a lot more responsibility to do as far as decorating, making sure everything goes according to plan. Uh, I can't wait till this is over because planning stuff like this, this big, is like it's, uh, so much to do. But um, I'm going to take y'all on that journey. I'm going to show y'all I'm all dressed up. Your girl going to be ner Nightingale inspired. I hope you got something from this video. Please take your NCLEX prep class serious. Study only what comes. So if you have a test coming up and it's a certain subject, only study that subject. Study every type of practice test for that subject and you shall do well. And if you don't pass the first time, you always have another attempt. You understand what I'm saying? Don't feel like it's always the end of the world. Don't stay in that self-pity because that's what the enemy wanted me to do is hate myself for not doing it. Why I hate myself when I got another chance? So if I didn't have another chance, that's another story, <laughs> you know,
sometimes things happen and it doesn't mean that's the end like you never going to be a nurse no it just means that okay at that moment you fell now you got to go back figure out what you did wrong always go back and figure out what you did wrong and address it that's the point of failing is to deal with what just went wrong process it as a learning key like okay now i know how to organize my time better i know how to chill and relax and enjoy the process so like Shout for me, y'all, because I'm going to Penny. Again, it's your hashtag student nurse RNT era. Come see you live with another great video. I hope you inspiring nurses have a wonderful day. You guys, I am super excited for you. For those who are going back to school and you making that decision, I am so praying for y'all. Please keep me in your prayers that everything is going to go according to plan on Saturday. And I shall show you a little bit of what we put together. Um... Hopefully, I can get enough done because I will be on stage, sitting up on stage, you know, because I'm getting pens, okay? Um, so, I will talk about what goes behind, like, how to plan a penning. I will talk about that on a different video. I also will talk about another video that I really want to do about picking your specialties as far as going to work. Um, I think some other topics I had in my mind, I am going to take y'all on my BSN journey as well and tell you how that goes. So, your girl, stay tuned, okay? You guys have a good day.